so Anna and I were trying to figure out a name for this and I wanted to call it Hourglass because that's what they look like to me. But Anna says they look like dandelions. So that's what we're going to call it. We're going to call it dandelions. So this is a multiple of 16 plus 1. So I have 16 and 16 is 32 plus 1 is 33 and because I'm doing two repetitions and I'm using a number four yarn which is worsted and number eight knitting needle so use the needles that the yarn calls for unless you want it very open but I kind of like it the way it looks so cast on your stitches and I cast it on by knitting you know like knit one and cast on knit one and cast on and that's the way I cast it on because I wanted it to look like you know loomy like that so now row number one you knit and row number two you purl and you only need to really pay attention to row number three and number seven so row number three is going to be knit one yarn over knit one yarn over knit one yarn over now you're going to slide slide put your left needle in front and knit them together through the back again slide slide put your left needle in the front and knit them together and then you're going to knit three together so in order to do that you're going to slide those two stitches together knit the next one and pass those two over the last one and now you're going to knit together and knit it together so now you yarn over knit one yarn over knit one yarn over. So that is where the first 16 stitches are, you know the first sequence, the first repetition. Let's do that again. You're going to knit one, yarn over, knit one, yarn over, knit one, yarn over. So you have six yarn overs in total in the center here. So now you're going to slide slide and knit them together through the back slide slide and knit them together through the back and now you're going to do three in one that means you slide those two stitches knit that one and those two you pass over the last one that you knitted now you're going to knit together knit together yarn over knit one yarn over knit one yarn over and knit the last one okay so now row number four is going to be purl and then you're going to repeat those four rows three more times so that means you knit and purl and then do this row that we just made the row number three again and then row number four you purl and I'll write those instructions but really the ones that you need to pay attention are, are the three and the seven so I'm going to do the other rows and I'll come back for row number seven now I did rows one through four four times so this is once two three four and now I started row five and six are already done because row five is a knit and row six is a purl okay so row number seven and now we're going to do these here okay so what you want to do is that you're going to 
knit two together, knit together, and knit two together. And that's how we start. We start with one knit two together, and then the repetition is knit two together, knit two together, and then yarn over knit one, yarn over two, yarn over three, yarn over four, yarn over five, yarn over six, and now what you want to do is that you want to slide, slide, knit, slide, slide, and knit, and now we're going to do three in one. So we're going to take those two stitches together, knit that one, and pass that one over. So now we're going to knit these two together, and two together. And then yarn over one, two, three, four, five, and six. And you want to slide, slide, knit, slide, slide knit and slide, slide and knit. And that is row number seven. So now you have, see that fan here in the middle, but now we're making these two on the sides. And so you're going to do row number eight is pearl, row number 9 is knit, row number 10 is purl, and you repeat these four rows four times in total. So, and that's it. This is, this is really, really nice. Like, I'm going to be making a scarf and crochet on the edge, so like that it has nice stability. But this is very, very pretty. Please share us with your friends and like our page and subscribe and thank you very much